All right, team, so I recently received an email from an ASM user saying he had an interview coming up and that he knew he would be required to calculate the proceeds required to achieve a certain IRR. So as an example, if the interviewer gave you an IRR of 20%, how would you calculate what the proceeds should be in period six? Well, I actually included that down below in this grouped selection. So in row 53, you see calc, proceeds required to achieve hurdles. Then here you have different IRR hurdle rates, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35%. And the proceeds required to achieve those hurdles in each period. Now it makes sense in period one, an IRR of 15% results in 1.15, IRR of 20%, 1.2, and so on. And the formula is really pretty simple. All you're doing is multiplying one plus the internal rate of return provided by itself for the number of periods. And to do that, you just raise one plus the internal rate of return provided to the number of periods. And in case you don't recall from our previous video, cell D6 is simply the capital provided initially. And in this example, to keep things simple, we just use $1. And the reason I included this calculation in this worksheet is to provide a check for these calculations, which provides an additional layer of confidence in your numbers. As an example here, you have 1.95. So you can hit Control C, move to our table above, hit Alt E S V for value, enter, and we can add a decimal place. And you'll see that you get exactly 25%. So I hope that does a decent job explaining the math. The other question I get from time to time is how can I calculate multiple internal rates of return all along the same row? To do that, you take the formula for the internal rate of return and solve for R. I'll include the math for this in the post below. But for the time being, know that this calculation only works if you have two cash flows, the cash flow invested and the proceeds received. If you have anything more than two cash flows, this approach really doesn't work. But I've received the question enough times via email that I thought I would provide it here. All right, that's really all there is to it. Hope that's helpful.